Hello, this is Victor. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the end of term process here at KIS and what we do to get ready for the end term and store grades. Uh, so the first thing that you want to make sure is that the report is configured in the way that you would like. Um, so what I do is I go to system reports within each school. Uh, I click setup and then object reports and then I select the report template that I want. We have templates that are for report cards and or progress reports, which we do at quarter, and semester report cards. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use our semester one report card as a template, and then I'm going to go in and what I modify are just a couple of the pieces of information. So I will modify the absence, date, and time. I will modify this to be S2 comments, um, as well as modifying the credit type on the transcript. Uh, so if I select the transcript option, you're gonna see that I need to change all of these fields to semester two, as well as these fields and credit type at the bottom. Once I've edited that report, uh, what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll go ahead and save the grades for all of our students. Um, and how you're gonna do that is within the system settings um, of your school, there's an option underneath grades that says permanently store grades. So go ahead and select that. Um, what it will give you is the option as to where you're going to store grades. So we're going to be using the S2 storing period. Um, and then we go through and we make additional selections. So since this is elementary school, we store with no credit basically um, so that our kids don't actually receive any credit. Uh, we also store everything for all schools and we re record the name of the other school if that actually happens. Um, and we make sure that we have this apply repeated grade suppression policies in place. And then we just submit. And then what you're going to see is that it will take a little while for this to actually store all of the grades. Um, once the grades are stored, then we use our DDA functionality and the Treadwell method, which I've already documented in another video to modify the credit types on all of those grades, giving them all a credit type that is tied to this grade level, uh, which makes our reports considerably easier. If you have any questions about how to store grades or modify reports, please reach out to me directly or comment on this video. Thanks.